Release the Kraken! Greetings fellow game designers, Ron here with Lame Duck Studios. And in this one we're going to look at how to do event dispatchers. So what are event dispatchers? Well, every object in Unreal has the ability to send and receive messages. So I went ahead and I created um, a new door with a new button from our previous. And the way an event dispatcher works is you have a sender and a receiver. Let's go ahead and open up our button. Our button is going to be the one sending the message to our door. So I'm going to open up my button. And here you can see the setup as it is, right? Um, I made the new door. I have the dispatcher on here and that. And then I have my open door getting the reference. So at the moment, I'm just using a custom event from the door. Play it play. And I walk over to the door. It works, right? It works because it should. It's the same setup as this one, right? But here's where it's going to get different. So let's go back in. For this to work, we need a reference to the door. And if I were to copy the door, let's go ahead and just duplicate that door, Oop. like so, and then walk over to the button, only one of them fires. The reason only one of them fires is this. So if I go back in, we have a get, and this get is getting event zero, or uh, instance zero of this uh, my door dispatcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to one. And then I can come over, and now that one works, right? But what if I had a scenario where I wanted to hit this button and I wanted all the doors to open. Well, there's two ways I can do that. I can do this. I can say off of here, do like a for each, plug that in, and then plug this guy into here. Or I'll go ahead and break that reference. So I won't use my get in this case, and I won't use this. Right, so I'm using my for each in this case. Let's um, run this here. And you gotta go here. Okay, so this should work, right? You can go over here, dink, and that'll work. But there's another way, right? So this is where event dispatchers come in handy. So let's go ahead and delete this stuff. Clear that off. And I'm going to come down here to the event dispatcher. It's all the way down to the left here on any blueprint. I'm going to hit event dispatcher. I'm going to do button uh, dispatcher. And with my button dispatcher, I'm just going to drag this in. And I do a call. So the sender of the message is the one who gets to do the call. So there we go. So my sender is going to send the message, and then my receiver is going to use that message. So I'm going to open up my door dispatcher um, blueprint here. And right here we have this custom event being driven, right? But for me to use this custom event, I'd have to tell the button every instance or get a reference to every door that ever uses this event, as you just saw. Or I could use a loop. But running that loop is really, really slow. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to do a assign button. Uncheck that. And we have our assign button uh, dispatcher. Grab that. And you can see this comes in with a new custom event and a bind event for our dispatcher. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. Now I do need something to run this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my event tick. And I still need a reference to something. But in this case, I don't need a reference to every single door. I only need a reference to the one button that needs to talk to every door. So I'm going to come up to here. Uh, let's get rid of these. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this as well. Let's swap this out for my button. And I happen to, I went ahead and named my button uh, button dispatcher. So door button dispatcher. Drag that off. I'll get my copy. Promote that to variable. And I'll just call this button reference. 
So with my button reference, I'll just plug this in, go ahead and compile it, and now every door that I create will have a reference to the button and will listen for the button's message. So if I come in here, now I have two doors, right? And both of them are listening for this button's message. Boop. And I can make multiple doors. And this is really good if you have one switch that needs to control multiple things. All right? Do, 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 do. Whereas if I did this one, because I'd have to have a reference for every door from the button, I only get one. Okay, so that's a quick look at using event dispatchers. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me some comments below, and I shall see you in the next one.